Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let us continue our Russian Empire campaign. So, this world looks a little different. We are at peace, and let me explain a few things. So, last time we beat up the Berlin Pact, and we peaced out with them, with the rest of the Berlin Pact, which includes China and Japan, fighting the Allies, and we are left mostly unscathed. So, um, with that in mind, I'm going to show you Europe, because that's really the bread and butter of what's happened. So, I've released a bunch of countries, and as you can see, Germany has been very heavily divided. First up, we'll start in the east. Romania is still here. I take in Mold Moldova, Moldavia, because we have a claim on it. So, this is what Romania looks like. Hungary is still very small. However, I do believe that concerning the balance of power right now, which I'll explain a little bit further on, that Bergenland might or could be Austrian, if we so choose to do so, or make it Austrian in the future. Um, I will show you the leaders of the new countries soon enough, but uh, especially of the allies places. But Hungary is led by Ignac Monar, Romania is led by, of course, George, Georgia Tarescu. I think I've already showed you this, and yeah, Slovakia. Serbia is, of course, led by Alexander I, and Croatia is led by Vladimir Nazor. So, uh, Serbia and Croatia and Hungary I took out at the end of last episode, and Serbia has a focus, eventually, to finalize Serbo-Croatian integration, and eventually these two countries will be united to become Yugoslavia, probably. Um, concerning that, of course, German Empire is over here, under Kaiser Wilhelm III, and I have re released a bunch of German different, different German states. So, let's start off here, under, what is this? No name, which we're just going to call like Hanover at this point. So this is Hanover, Hanover, and uh, or I guess neither Deutschland, but we're just going to call it Hanover. This is the Confederation of the Rhine, led by Hans Dutmann. Hanover is led by Anton Stolz. We have the, and then we have Baden-Württemberg, its own independent country here, under Walter, Walter Becker and the Kingdom of Bavaria under Walter Rahl. Why did I divide them up? Well, it wasn't me that divided them up. It was the Allies. They saw that if we have a tri-disunited or three disunited Germanys, like we did earlier at the beginning of the game with the Southern Commune versus mostly the you know Prussia, Prussia and Sax with Saxony and Niederdeutschland versus like the what, Confederation of the Rhine, that was still too powerful and the threat of unification hurt them and obviously resulted in another bloody war. Now this time, Germany is divided once again, not be not between two Germanys, but through one, two, three, four, five different Germanys at the moment. Let's see, Hanover is a puppet of the UK, makes sense, right? A puppet of the UK, because of the connection, the royal connection there. Uh, this is also led by the UK, uh, maybe that should be, actually that should be probably puppeted by France, the Confederation of the Rhine, or the Rhineland. Yeah, this should really be... Uh, French, probably, but I guess for now it's under the UK's protection. Baden-Württemberg, of course, is un a puppet under France. And then uh, the Kingdom of Bavaria, which was a Southern Commune earlier, was actually now a puppet of the Kingdom of Italy. So we have two puppets from the UK, one puppet from France, and then one kingdom from Italy, as well as Austria, who has a flag change now led by Otto Kirchner, the flag change, uh, they are also a puppet of Italy. So really, the biggest loser was France in terms of Germany's, but Spain is back, and they're also a puppet of France. So everyone in the Allies, who was a major player, ended up with two puppets each. And, of course, it's led by Jose. So I think that's pretty balanced. Belgium didn't get too much, but they kept Malady, Mal Malmedy, Malady, Malady, Oipen, Malmedy. Um, yeah, with that in mind, uh, obviously I released... A bigger Germany because I couldn't really divide it up any more than I possibly could and I don't want to release Poland because then the Polish people are on war so will get a little angry at me can't have that you see uh yeah so which actually also I did make sure that Italy gave back Moravia to Bohemia or Czechia over here so so that's basically the world Europe is looking to be a very contested hot point obviously between me and the Allies the div many divided states of Germany and, you know and Czechia but if Germany were to reunite again, let's say through a focus of the many Germanys, 
no recognized Prussia's Germany successor. Prussian military advisors join the Berlin Pact. I hope to join the German sphere. Maybe they'll do that. Maybe they won't. But if we do go to end up going to warp, because I need Italy and they are my potential enemies. Um, yeah, I don't mind having another German puppet. Maybe reunite Germany that way. How many times can Germany be broken and brought back together? We'll we'll see. We need some flux state for that. But anyways, our goal this episode is to get rid of the Ottoman Empire and establish more of a dominant role in the Middle East. Because we have Afghanistan, we have Persia, we have most of the, almost all the Balkans. I need, I need Bulgaria and Greece underneath me, as well as Czechia. Czechia or Bohemia must become ours because that's like an island of neutrality, kind of like Switzerland right now. And we can't have that. We need as much firepower in our military as much as possible. So let's take a look. We're building a lot of refineries, some dockyards, and a military factory. Very good. Very, very good. Need more medium tanks. Well, I got a lot of anti-tanks that I never use. That I don't see a point of keeping. Thank you. Alright. So we will attack them. However, we don't have any ports. Do we have any ports? I mean, technically, Serbia and Croatia. I guess they have a port. Montenegro port. Croatia doesn't have any ports over there that we could use. We should go ahead and see if we can move our ships over once these other ships come up to support it. Good. Hopefully, the Japanese and her allies, who are still at, who are still at war with the allies, her allies, Japan, the Berlin Pact, and them, are all at war. So if I want to go to the Ottoman Empire, they hopefully won't join the allies or Berlin Pact once again. Yeah, I really doubt. Yeah, they have a non-aggression pact and stuff, but don't think that's really going to work very well for them. Alright, so if we were to attack, I'd use my mostly forces over here, but of course move Albania. Ooh, that's not good. Can I justify on Bulgaria, actually? If, if they want to claim to be a Tsardom, we might as well, uh, you know, reunite the, the Slavic territories at this point. Uh, since we're I want to declare war on Bulgaria first. If we declare war on Bulgaria first, that just gives us ac almost direct access to Istanbul. Because it's time for us to get some uh, ships down here. So. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this series so far. Ooh, we have a better logistic company. It's good. Let's just keep going for the better ones. Um, I've been noticing, uh, like yesterday's video had a few down votes. I'm not really sure why. Is there something I, I could approve upon? I mean, I know I obviously don't put a ton of effort into these videos, but if there's anything I could work on, please let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. I enjoy making, I enjoy playing the game and sharing this time with you, so I do have I'm in mind what I want to play next, so. Alright, uh, our ships are down here. 70 ships, that's good. 9 battleships with some really old, some really new. Uh, let's see. 2 battle cruisers that are pretty much outdated already. Three heavy cruisers that are outdated. A few light cruisers, which are okay, not great. And a lot of old destroyers and two subs. Alright, fun. The project is done. Army knows best. 78% stability. We can kind of wait on that. Claim Alaska. I don't want to go to war with the United States. Yeah, there's no point to. New artillery, marine effort, flexible navy, paramilitarism. Mm, don't really need that. Marines. Do I need marines? Or do I need better art Do I need artillery? Well, it's already 1943. We'd only get one bonus. We might as well do that for now, right? Bing, bing. Penalties ahead of time. Research bonus. Cruiser efforts. Capital ships. Uh, let's just go with new artillery. Why not? All right. Let's see. War propaganda. Cost 75. How much political power do I get a day? 1.37. That's quite a bit. Love it. Good. A lot of these places need... Uh, rebuilding of the infrastructure. How is this looking? How is Russian Manchuria looking? They need like a 15 military factories, 10 civilian factories, and 8 naval dockyards. That's actually not too bad. And we've just researched our next level of guns. Good. Uh, wasn't there a focus for me to get... Oh, reduce ahead penalty time. So that actually doesn't give you... Oh. That doesn't actually give you like bonus to researching that once it's not ahead of time. Alright, well, that was my mistake. Oh well, whatever. You live and learn. But, uh, oh, we still have a research slot? Okay, my bad. Motorized artillery. We have research coming for that. Naval stuff is fine. Air stuff is fine for now. Engineering. Ah, oh, yeah, nukes. 
Uh, good, 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 good. I wonder how the war is going on. It looks like the UK has pushed back the Japanese, or at least the Allies have pushed back Japanese forces. France has returned a little bit in Laos. Laos People's Democratic Republic has lost its one. All right. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the Japanese react, or you know how far the Allies are going to be able to push. The excavation one is done. Good. We need any more. Oh, we need more tungsten and steel now. We actually need more steel. Wow. Uh, 1943 Ugh, rocketry. I have not used radars at all. Sounds like I could probably use some. I could probably use some of that. You know. Uh, if I had to send divisions, would I send divisions to help people out here? Not really. I have no real point to. All I hope is that the Japanese and the Allies kill each other off so badly that both sides are severely weakened. So they've lost almost 800,000. The Allies have lost nearly 2 million, of course, with British India suffering almost 600,000 themselves. Uh, cool, we can go ahead and conquer Bulgaria. That would be great. Hopefully no one else tries to help them out, because if they do, we'll be in probably World War Three. Would that be? Three, World War Three? Good. Mikhail. Oh, yeah, let's get you that. Then Gor Gororov, Gol Golvorod, my bad, Golvorod. You need a military leader. Roman Badenov. You sound very familiar. I remember I said bad earlier. Bad. There's another Pieter Badenov. Now we have his brother Roman Badenov. All right. Uh, they are improving relations with the, with Bhutan. Uh, let's go ahead and call our allies in. Good, and we'll have a go ahead to go ahead and fight. Good. Uh, let's see. Any more ways I could help my soldiers out? Maybe a few more bombers. Bulgaria by themselves isn't super strong, which is good for us. Some fighters in there. Do we have any other fighters? Oh, we got some interwar fighters. Let's get some of those going. As long as it's a wing of a hundred, I can put on the field. That's good. Even if I'm not producing them, they'll all get replaced eventually. Four fighters. And a few more interwar fighters. Any more? No, but we do have some close air support. Even though I don't remember producing close air support. See, 300 fighters will come to here. Uh, I guess that's, those are my tanks. More fighters. Uh, more fighters. And then more fighters. Good. We will need more fighters, of course, because obviously we do not have enough. Oh, good. War so far is going pretty well. They lost 10,000 men versus our 5,000. Good. Oh, we are attacking Cross River, which is a little bit suicidal. And, of course, they don't really like us because we're killing them. Awesome. Very good. We will take all states and then release them as a puppet. Oh, good. And unfortunately, this game does not have, or this mod does not have any ideas on how to release countries through a decision, but that's fine. Japanese territory, Ottoman territory. Tsardom, old Bulgaria, you have been released. You will now be a great addition to our empire. Under Boris III, you are still a Tsardom, which is great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It looks like we finished up with refineries. Alright, still need more steel and tungsten. We probably will re lower export focus to limited exports. Yeah, we'll have to do that. Save our political power. How is our navy looking? At least our navy. We need a few more naval dockyards. Quite a bit more steel. Um, you know what, with that mind. Let's make three lines of ships. Let's go here. Uh, I don't think I own that, do I? I personally don't own that. Uh, let's see, 90%. Yeah, you build up a lot of that. That looks good. Yeah. Now, the Brugja, the Brugja, now they want, that's Bulgarian territory, apparently. This is obviously Russian territory. This is also Russian territory. Hmm. Go to war with the Ottomans now. Actually, I want to put my, sh I can't put my ships in here, in the Black Sea. Because the Turks won't let me through, which is fine. Which is fine. We'll find a way around. You, yeah, let's let's lower all of this. You will come to Albania. There probably won't be very much resistance here. You will come here, around there, 
we'll double stack it, and then you will come here. We're not going to put use all of our generals here because that's a little insane for the supply situation, but that's okay. We will attack through mostly this region. Good. And then we shall go ahead and go to war with the Turks. What is, their, what is the Turkish focus right now? Demand Islamic Russian lands, or maybe they're going to go to war with us. Demand Islamic Russian lands. What country are they? Oh, it's just Russian Islam. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens now, since we are pretty much good to go. Ready to fight. That's a good fight. Uh, you guys just kind of hang out near Budapest, Belgrade, for now, I suppose. You guys are sucking up a lot of supplies. Well, go to the Ukraine, Moldavia, Bessarabia. That'd be good. Yeah, that, that'll definitely help out the supply situation. And, oh, and we have some more free civilian factories. Uh, I suppose more military factories are in order. Eventually, I will produce a lot more infrastructure around these different areas. I think that'd be for the best. And then just build a bunch of infrastructure when you run out of things to build. Actually, we should probably build it through Persia. Uh, we'll build up. A, we'll build up. We're going to build up a ton of infrastructure. This is what I always do during my games. Build up a lot of infrastructure because why not? We're going to need that, especially in Germany when we might have to go to war with the Allies someday, which we will have to go to war with the Allies someday. But first stop will be to claim, reclaim Zagreb. So, and like I knew it, I totally called this. The Ottomans, through our espionage tactics, learned of their desire to reclaim Russian Islamic lands, and obviously as the Tsardom, or the Russian Empire, we're not going to let that happen. Ah. Uh, their war... See, now I am the victim. They declared war on me. This is why I went to war with Bulgaria to open up a new front. I need you guys to be fairly careful and go ahead and attack. Uh, you guys should probably go right on ahead to Tarana. Oh, I need to call, oh, I need to call my allies into the war. Alright. Russian-Ottoman war. Good. Good. Call everyone to my to arms. Alright, Eastern Slovakia. I guess the Germans, if they would like to join the war as well. Persia. Afghanistan. Mongolia. Russian Manchuria. Good. Good. So, us as a nation, we are only hated by the Ottoman Empire, for the most part. And we're kind of liked by Egypt. Okay. As well as South Africa. Huh. Why is that? So we are trade... Oh, we're trade partners, and we have a non-aggression pact in Egypt. Uh, we have the same ideology, and we're trade partners. So, alright, so I guess that's reason to like us a little bit more. You guys will go ahead and do some convoy escorting around. We're not going to go direct head-to-head -head naval battleship style with the Ottomans, because... I'm not really confident in my uh, naval capabilities at the moment. So, which means we should probably focus on our navy next. Good, we're taking the port. These Rus these Turkish soldiers will perish. We're trying to defend their lands. That's what they declared war upon me. Good. Uh, we don't. They have air superiority. That's not good. Uh, sure. I missed some people. That's okay. Nice. We took those soldiers out. This is going quite well at the moment. Oh, we took the city of Zagreb, but we lost it. Okay. Um, sure. They weren't really ready for to, to, to attack that side of, I guess, their lands of the Ottoman Empire, or to attack into Bulgaria, because I don't think they were really expecting me to attack into, or hold, or, you know, retain control of Bulgaria. But I guess we do... Uh, what is their navy like? What's up here? Oh! Okay, so, um, you know, even though I'm not super confident with my navy, I'm getting a little bit more confident right now. And we're only trying to defend our convoys, which is quite a few convoys, not to say the least, but... Wow. Like, battleships, please, just end them. I haven't even researched any of the naval doctrines at all. Construction 5 is done. Nice. Very good. Uh, I suppose we could 
probably research a little bit more on our naval doctrines. Good. We're making battleships. We're making light cruisers. Convoys are okay for now. Battleship 3. Subs aren't really worth it unless you're playing Kaiserreich. Light cruisers. Uh, make another battleship. Why not? I'll probably make subs next after this. Uh, looks like they are trying to attack. And it looks like the Yunnan Chinese are have sent volunteers to help the Ottomans, even though they're starving for supplies and their attacks into Persia or Kars Oblast really isn't working. So they're getting desperate. After they've lost uh, Sargred, and I have also crossed into Asia from Sargred, I'm thinking that they're kind of panicking at this point. So we just accompanied three. Nice, we've suffered 25,000 men lost while they've suffered over a third of a million. And France pursues nuclear technology. Wasn't ever going to expect that, right? France never pursues nuclear attack. No, no, no. A rocketry would be interesting, but we don't really need that. Oil? We need tungsten and steel. Let's improve our industry levels. Don't do that. Good. We're spreading out. We're beginning to spread out. If we could take that port, that would be great. How is this naval battle going? We've lost two convoys. It looks like a lot of things are kind of standstill. We do have a, quite a few light cruisers, which is good. Oh, we've lost some more. Oh, oh, here we go, Yugoslavia. After many days of negotiations, Croatia and Serbia came to an agreement regarding unification. Serbia takes control over the government, but guarantees both the Bosnian and Croatian rights to avoid any ethnic terror. A dream has finally come true. The Balkan states are finally united under the new state called Yugoslavia. The leader of this country will be Alexander I. He would do first started the negotiations and is popular under the population. Alexander's next parts are to expand the Balkan League and strengthen the relations with the great powers. Well, there's only so much you're going to be able to do, my friend. And they're still sinking my convoys. Uh, go ahead and just go search and destroy. Go ahead and murder them. Because they're sinking all my convoys. What the heck? Yeah, what? why are these... They're like retreating, but the... Oh, the subs are attacking. What are my light cruisers doing then? Uh, they're just letting them die at this point. Please. I'm not sure why I have... Convoys. Where am I getting supplies from? Yeah, I'm not getting supplies from here. I don't know why I have convoys in the water. That doesn't make any sense to me. But, I mean, hopefully this battle, this war won't rage on for too long. Go ahead and start attacking if you can. Really drain them of their supplies and equipment. So you are up here in, in Scandinavia. Two, three. Uh, just go ahead and get rid of that. We don't need any more divisions for now. If we need any more, we'll, we'll, we'll train some more if we need to. We really need to convert a lot of our soldiers to 40 with divisions. So. Turkish Empire. According to our an espionage, they have a little over 120,000. Uh, manpower. Interesting. Radar. I doubt we'll be able to do this in time, but it's not even big enough to really use yet. Ooh, yeah. Blacks. The, no, the Baltic Sea up there. Uh, up over here would be good. <clears throat> over here. Alright, so maybe we'll call off some of these attacks. They're not going super hot at the moment. Just fine. Uh, well, over here's okay. I mean, we were just a little bit spread out. That's all that really is going on. And it looks like the Germans are also occupying the of uh, Zagreb, also known as Constantinople. You can go ahead and go to Izmir, and the Ottomans should capitulate soon. We're approaching 100,000 casualties while they're approaching half a million, which is great. Super, super good. Oh, what's going on here? We lost 56 convoys. I don't know why I had convoys in the water, but we've sunk quite a few of the Ottoman Navy. Quite a bit of it, at least. Good. Uh, this looks like we've suffered some damage. Some damage. Oh, do -do -do. Oh, but uh, our Admiral and Vladivostok and von Bellinghausen have done pretty well. Especially von Bellinghausen. Nice. Very good. Oh, the Russian Navy. Good. We have more naval experience. Do we want a flexible Navy or a fleet in being? We probably want a fleet in being. Oopsie. My apologies. I keep clicking a lot of buttons. Yeah, we want a fleet in being na naval policy. So, we will go under here. Or more naval doctrine success. Nice, 
took Izmir. Oh, we're almost took Izmir. You just take all the rest of this territory. Good. Go ahead and try to attack. See if you can break through. If not, that's still okay. Be a little bit more careful, and I'm gonna have to reorganize these lines soon. They should capitulate very soon, but not quite. Not quite. So, you know what? Go ahead and stop. Stop attacking. Just kind of hang out for now. You can push in. Stretch out their lines a little bit more if you can. And two divisions take the city. Oh, they're attacking over a river, which is never good. But maybe they have a slight amount of help to attack as well. To take their new capital. Is that enough? That is so close. That is so close for them to perish. Good. We might be able to win there. We can attack here from Konya. Konya. You guys come in here. Nice. Oh, oh, Italy. They canceled the non-aggression packs. Come on, we gotta win this fast. Oh boy, come on, come on, come on. That's never good. I need this army up here right now. I need you to go crazy. Come on, capitulate. Oh god, this is not good. We're canceling the massive non-aggression packs. Oh, okay. So we're done with that war. Oof, I gotta be ready for any sort of incoming war. We're gonna take them all, and then we're gonna dole everything out from there. Nice. Alright, alright, alright. So they canceled non-aggression packs. I'm gonna need a border force down here. I'm going to expand, actually, the coastal defense as well. You. That. This. This. I can already tell. If we, When we go to war with the Allies, they're going to navally invade the crap out of this area. 30 divisions. It's not bad. The Black Sea should be okay now, so we probably don't need to garrison any of this. Oops. There we go. That's only 24 divisions. That's pretty good. Let's lower our export focus to limited exports. Because we definitely, oh wow, it's not very much. And our main army. Oh yeah, I need to release this. Any, who has claims on this? The Ottomans, as well as Albania. Yeah, I'll give this to Albania. Let's liberate Albania already. Return territory. Constantinople, Adirne, and Vlior? No. Yeah, this is fine. This is looking good. You all will have to beat the front. This massive front against the Allies. Alright. So this is our front. Oh, man, I want to take out Czechia. <sighs> I need to take out Czechia. But let's go ahead and deploy a massive force on the line or the border against the Allies and around Czechia, which I'm going to try to take out at the beginning of next episode, probably. If at all possible. This is going to be one hell of a war when we do go to war. Because let's be real, it, we will go to war eventually with all these people. Uh, I had you guys over here. Yeah. You? What are you doing? You're next to Afghanistan. You're in Afghanistan next to the British Indians. Yeah, you're not very strong around here. You're going to need some forts. My goal isn't so much as to push into British India, but at least to hold the border for now before we can focus on British India. Good. Two is good enough for there. Uh, let's see, you are pushing that. You are in Norway. You'll be kind of like a spare army just in case be capped back if Norway or Sweden joins, which I don't think they will, but you never know. So you will be the force that allows us to strike into Egypt and more or less Africa. That'll be good. Boris. I'm not using you very much because you have your tanks aren't that impressive. Uh, you will be garrisoned around Czechia. We will have to take them out because we don't need to see neutrality when we're going to go have to go to war against a bunch of different major nations very soon. Awesome. You go ahead. You rebase at Constantinople. Go ahead and rebase. Get stronger. Because. We're peace for now. 
but we'll, to, we'll see how long that's going to last. We need one more political power. Alright. Check you next. Alright. I wish it was a decision saying whether I could, um... Like, liberate the Ottoman Empire, or at least Turkey. But keep this area. Zagreb. The Greater Zagreb area. But, nevertheless, there is not... At the moment, I would also like to take out Greece, but... Apparently, that's not very feasible. Actually, you... If time allows it, we can strike Greece as well. If we are allowed, and then the Balkans will be fully under us. And hopefully they won't join the Allies when we do go to war. If we do go to war at all. So, with that in mind, we're going to end our episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it very much. We have finished off the Balkans for the most part, minus Greece. Uh, the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, of course, has formed, which is good for us. Good for us. Um, there's less management that we have to do. We have women soldiers, apparently, in Yugoslavia, as well as production overhaul. Got a sizable, sizable amount of manpower, but the world's shaping up to be a very aggressive, very almost dark, cold place to be in a coming, looming war. So thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. Um, please leave me why you might dislike the video. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see you tomorrow when we hopefully take over Chechia and maybe even Greece.